This is Wild Chronicles. Thirty-five hundred years ago, a thriving civilization existed on the Aegean island of Santorini. Here, long before the Greeks flourished, the Minoan community of Akrotiri prospered in a culture that rivaled the splendors of those who lived on the nearby island of Crete. Artists painted frescoes of sunlit landscapes. Others depicted the ordinary tasks and pleasures of daily life. Now here is where you found the frescoes. Yes, uh, we found frescoes and other things which show that we are discovering here a very highly civilized society of the Bronze Age. That civilization vanished. Much the same way ancient Pompeii fell when Mount Vesuvius erupted in 79 AD. But the Santorini volcano puts Vesuvius to shame. According to scientists, its eruption around 1630 BC is the second largest in human history. Akrotiri was completely buried. And some scientists suggest the eruption triggered the decline of the Minoans. To learn more about the volcanoes around Santorini, National Geographic explorer in residence Bob Ballard and his colleagues, including National Geographic grantee Hallrader Sigurdsson, came here in 2006. What we were trying to do was to better understand this volcano because you know thousands of people are living on Santorini. The population continues to increase. And so our mission goal was to go underwater with our advanced technology and try to see how large its last major eruption was. The volcano is now mostly underwater. So Ballard brought his famous rovers, Hercules and Argus, to the Aegean to give the team a close-up look. And what they found was both exciting and disturbing. When you're investigating a, a volcano like Santorini, think of it as a, a layer cake. There's multiple eruptions that have taken place through time. And so what you're trying to do is to get a measure of the thickness of, the, of each layer of the cake by using our vehicle systems to actually measure the thickness of the layers from the eruptions and then how large an area they cover so we can get a volume calculation. And that's what showed us that it was much bigger than we thought. In fact, the team estimates that the volcano may have shot 14 cubic miles of magma out of its crater. An eruption that size would have caused massive tsunamis and blackened the skies over an estimated 115,000 miles. exciting still was their survey of the Colombo volcano right next to Santorini. It erupted more recently in 1650 AD. Down here the team found literally hundreds of hydrothermal vents and a carpet of life. There's a whole nother system going on it's called chemosynthesis and at the basis of it is a bacterium that has figured out over eons of time how to duplicate the process of photosynthesis in the dark. Living not off the energy of the sun, but living off the energy of the earth itself. It's a fascinating system. For better or worse, this volcano system is still alive and well, with temperatures reaching up to 435 degrees Fahrenheit. Santorini is so fascinating because it has a very violent history and more than likely will have a violent future. It's a future that we can better predict thanks to Dr. Ballard and his colleagues.